Hug from Suits to Tomatoes. This is the Gentle Workout. So welcome, and I hope you had a nice weekend, everyone. And uh, this week kind of works out great because uh, on Friday it's Remembrance Day. So usually we wear red and true in the fr red Fridays to support the troops. So it'll kind of work out perfectly, right? So we can think about that for Friday if you want to wear red to support the troops, but it's really up to you. I like how you look, whether you're in red or not. It's all good to me. So welcome, and this is the gentle workout. So it takes place over 30 minutes, and today we're reviewing the top 10 exercises. Like if you were just gonna cut it back to just 10 exercises that you would do, which ones would you pick? And we'll talk about that. So from here, we're gonna march, see with our legs, while looking at our posture, so our feet are hip width apart. And then we're just gonna do, I gotta watch because the wall's behind me, but nice slow windmill back. Nice slow windmill back. And like I said, the wall's kind of behind me here, so my arm is a little afraid I'm gonna hit it, but you go where it naturally feels like you could go. It's all good. Good, so like a backstroke. Remember the backstroke? Yeah. If you still go swimming, then fantastic. I haven't been swimming in a while, so good. And just feel where our bodies can go. And then let's do the opposite. Let's do forward. Forward, like a front stroke. Forward. That's kind of nicer, right? It's more comfortable in the arm. Yeah, I know. It's more of a stretch the other way. So really good. Good exercise to do any time. And then let's do angel wings. So remember, the fingertips are stretched out. The palms are back as though they're towards the wall. Elbows in. And just pay attention to your own body and see where you can go today. Shoulders back, chest out, big deep breaths. And I got this move from the Arthritis Society. So it's completely safe. It may not be comfortable and like a, a fantastic move. You're like, Renee, let's do more of these. But it's a really good one. And it stretches our chest so that we can get more motion in our backs. Shoulders, really. So what do you think the top 10 moves are? Huh? Do you have some idea? Woo! One more, one more. Oh, you're excited to find out, yes? Perfect, perfect. Before we get to that, though, I have a little bit of a, a lower body work to do that I want to do and upper. So we're just going to start, though, with the lower a little bit. So toe uh, on the ground, and then we're going to lift our toe up to lift our knee. So touch your toe to the ground and then lift your toe up to lift your knee. Touch the toe down and then lift the toe up to lift your knee. Do you feel that? It's good, right? All right, good job, good job. Woo! Three more. Touch the toe. Oh, it's hot, you gotta lift it. Touch the toe. It's hot, you gotta lift it. <laughs> good. Right? Like a whole leg thing. All right, let's do the other side. So touch the toe in and lift. Touch the toe in and lift. Toe in and lift that big toe. Down and lift. Woo! Three more. Then lift. Two more. And one more. All right, good job, good job. So this this time, opposite arm and knee and uh, leg. I take the arm out to the side, stretch, and come back. So big deep breaths. Two. So this is just the warm up. Three. We haven't gotten to the best part yet. Four to the top ten moves. Five. Get warmed up a little bit. Six. The legs and arms coming alive. Seven. Big deep breaths. Big deep breaths. Eight. Good job. So remember, lift a big toe, shoulders back, chest out, go out as far as you're comfortable going, and then back. Big deep breaths. And two. Very nice. And three. Look how good those look, right? Four, five, woo, six, two more, two more, seven, one more, one more. 
eight. All right. So number one move is a move. I know it is. It's it's a whole leg thing. And the next one is a leg one too. But you'll forget about it. So the leg is going to go out straight like this, pressing the heel out. Opposite arm is going to reach up as the leg goes up. And then you just lower it down. You can rest it, but try not to. So inhale up. Exhale, lower slowly. Two. We're going for eight of these. Three. Are you feeling them already? Yes. Woo! Four. Okay, feel free to squeeze your bum right here. Five. Come in and squeeze your bum. Yes. Six. Come in and squeeze those, those buttocks. And then one more. Woo! Want to put that leg down? Oh, that's going to feel so good. Yeah, you forgot all about the other leg now. So let's press that heel out. Opposite arm goes out. Big deep breath. Good. And we'll reach and lift and then come in and squeeze our bums. Reach and lift. Come in and squeeze your bum. That's it. Reach like you mean it. And come in and squeeze your bum. That's it. Looking 
Fantastic. We're almost done with that leg. We're almost done. So this time we're going to do the upright row. This way I get two rounds of the rows, which are good. So palms down. You got it. You can grab a little more in your hand if you know that you can do more. Shoulders back, chest out, lift the elbows and squeeze back. So in this particular case, we're not going to worry about the bum, squeezing the bum too much. We're really going to focus on the upper back right there. Yes. Sticking your chest out. Woo! At the end right here. Sticking your chest out. That's it. Yes. Oh, those look good. <coughs> here we are preventing uh, osteoporosis right now. Right now. With this particular squeeze. We're helping our bones. Yes? So three more. Woo! With joy and vigor and enthusiasm. Two more. Two more. Good. So the narrow row and the upright row are numbers four and five. Fantastic. Take it under both feet and we're changing to the hammer curl. So remember, microphone hold. So the the little tail is at the top of the hand where the thumb is. Palms facing each other, shoulders back, chest out, or facing your thighs. And you're going to curl up, keeping the elbows tight. And then down. So this is an isolation exercise, but it's a good time to put that exercise in there. Yeah, while we're doing um, the leg stuff, having it under one foot or the other. Isn't that good? Oh, if it's too easy, you could grab more of the band. Squeeze. And lower. All right. Four more. Four more. Woo! This is number six. Hammer curl. Three. Oh, I like it. I like it. Good. Woo! Two. Bicep curl. Do you feel it? You're looking fantastic. Look at your beautiful elbows. I love it. One more. One more. Feel free to squeeze your butt too if you want. Sure. Good. In case you're wondering. Yeah, it's always a good time. All right, so let's go to the other leg now. And again, if you're recovering from something on the one leg, which I can tell you are, just do the other leg again. Normally, I don't recommend that. I say, uh, but when you're recovering, there's still inflammation in the joint. You let the joint recover first. Or if you're in physiotherapy, you do the physiotherapy first. So elbows back, shoulders back, chest out, pressing into the other leg. We're going to bring the knee in, in our row position, press the heel out. This is a leg press. So I want you to imagine like you're pushing something heavy away from you. Two. You're using your leg. To push something away. Three. That's right. Just imagine in real life if you needed to push something heavy away, you would use your legs maybe, butt your body up against something and push it away with your legs, right? Because they're strong. Good. Three more. Three more. Looks good. Two more. And then one more. Good job. From here, we lift and lower. One. Leg pump, which is number three. Good. Up and down. Woo! Up and heel down. Four more. Lift and lower. Three more. Lift and lower. Squeeze your bum. Two more. Lift. Lower and squeeze, yeah? One more, lift, lower and squeeze. Now we scooch forward, we release the arms, we pull them back, we squeeze them and we squeeze our bums. Oh, there's a thousand dollar bill between your cheeks and you have to hold it in there, you have to squeeze them. That's right, that's right. Woo! Pull those arms back and squeeze and squeeze. Fantastic. Woo! Pull, squeeze, and squeeze. That's right. Four more. Row and squeeze. So narrow row is number four.
four, row and squeeze. So remember, it's about pulling the elbows back and squeezing. And then one more. Good. And back and squeeze. Fantastic. Now we can sit all the way back. And we already know this exercise, but we're doing it again because it's a good one. Grab it by your fingertips. I like to grab quite a bit because uh, I've gotten strong in my upper back now. Palms down, elbows out, upright row. Yeah, you got it. Lift and squeeze. One. I know you guys like doing this one. Eh? At first it was kind of awkward, but now that you've got it, you're like, hey, I get it now. I can see when the elbows change and the, the chest sticks out that you get it. I can see it happening. So good job. So lift. That's it. That's it. Woo! All right. Let's show those muscles. Lift, squeeze. Feel free to squeeze your bum if you like. But if you just want to focus on those upper back muscles, that's great, great, great timing. Woo! All right, all right. One more, one more. Up and squeeze. Fantastic. So we're going to take it to a chest exercise. So we're going to put it behind our backs. But if you have a drink, we're about at the halfway mark. So take one. We have four exercises left, right? Number seven, eight, nine, and ten. So one of them is the chest press because uh, who likes doing push-ups? Not that many people likely, right? So this way you get to work your chest without doing push-ups, which is nice. So we put it behind our backs, way low down towards our shoulder, underneath our shoulder blades. So that when we push into the chair, it holds it in place. We have 90 degree arms like robots with the band going over the elbow. Lift, there you go. And then press forward as far away as you can. Shoulders back, chest out, squeeze. That's it. Almost, you know when we do our upright row, just your, your hands are wider. That's it. Big deep breaths. It's actually right here that the chest gets worked. Good. Four more. Four more. Elbows back. Squeeze your back. Exhale forward. Squeeze your armpits. Elbows back. Squeeze your back. Forward. Squeeze the armpits. One more. All right. So that was chest. Next is shoulders. So we're going to take the band and lift all the way up. Woo! Gently. Shoulders back. Chest out. Up. Good. I hope you're sitting back firmly against your band because the band is rude. Woo! Good job. I got an idea. Shoulders back, chest out. As we lift, we're going to squeeze our bums, squeeze our shoulder blades, and then lower. Good. Lift, shoulders back, chest out, and lower. Three more, three more. So this is a shoulder press. It's my number eight exercise. Woo! It's almost like you're celebrating your stronger shoulders, isn't it? One more, one more, one more. Is it getting uncomfortable? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it should be uncomfortable. It should be uncomfortable. Good. Not painful, but uh, uncomfortable and challenging. The butterfly. Who doesn't love the butterfly? So whether you put your hands here or here, it's really your choice. What I want you to be connected with is your pelvis, your hips, and your abs. So big deep breath, shoulders back, chest out. Exhale, curl in, and tailbone back or here. Inhale. See how I never touch my head. I really want to make it about my spine. My chest opening here, and then exhaling abs in, tilting the tailbone back. That's it, that's it. Just think how when you open yourself up, you get stronger. 
Good. Three more. Three more. Big deep breaths. Oh, that's it. Two more. Two more. One more. One more. Savoring it. Good job, good job. All right, side bend, uh, last round. Actually, let's make it a little harder today. We'll do three of each kind. So number one variation is shoulders back, chest out. You just lean down, inhale up, exhale over. So we're gonna do three of this. So notice where you feel it when your arms are not engaged. And then you can decide which one you like best the next time we do it, right? I don't really care which one you do. You could do this one every time if you like it. Now we can add the arm for the next three. But you choose, right? You can always go back to variation one. And this is variation two, side bends. Doesn't that feel good? It's like your body gives you a little thank you, doesn't it? Like right here. Oh, thank you. And then up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. I'm, I'm telling you. And you all look fantastic and tall. I love it. So remember, it's about this stretch here. And then up. And then we got our last variation. Are you ready? It's harder. So you can choose to do one, two, or now three. Up. Reach up, keep your back against the seat, exhale over. Yes, reach up, 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 and as you reach up, go over. Press those hands together actively, inhale up, exhale over. Inhale and reach, exhale over. One more, one more. Reach, press into the hands or gun position if you like. Inhale up, last one, last one, and up. Good, good job, good job. And although I didn't include this exercise in the bunch, let's do it anyway for our triceps. So we're gonna press our arms back, and you can tuck your chin in a little bit, and then release your arms down. Shoulders back, chest out, press the palms back, hold it, and release down. Shoulders back, chest out, chin in, press back, and down, and then one more time. Back, and down. Now we're gonna pulse for three before we release it. So we're gonna lift, pulse, two, three, and then lower. Shoulders back, chest out, up, one, two, three, and then lower. Shoulders back, chest out, chin in, one, two, three, and then lower, one more, one, two, three, and then lower, did you feel that, oh yes, yes, and it's like a repair exercise, so I know it's not very comfortable, but it's really, really good for us, it's really good, so one option, okay, I'm going to show variation number one, legs together, okay, take the opposite arm to knee, and reach that arm to the outside of your knee. That's right. Inhale, reach up, and then over. That's it. And then come back up. And then we do the other side. Reach all the way over to the opposite side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, over. Inhale, up. Good. And then here, we're just going to relax our, our chest down. Fantastic. And then come back up. Now, another option is to do figure four. Okay? You don't have to. You can go down here and just do it here. That's good. Or you can do it here, but it's up to you. So we're only going to go over this leg twice. Okay? So take opposite arm to knee. Kind of. Reach up and over. Good, come back, and we do it again, same side, opposite arm to knee, reach this arm out, reach up, and reach over. Good, and then up, back, and then 
in, chest forward, relaxing the hands and the head down. Okay, one more deep breath here. Fantastic. And then walk it back up. Now again, you can do just like this, perfect, or you can do the other figure four on the other side. Your choice, okay? Your choice. It's your workout. So take your off. You got it. Take the opposite. And we're only going on this side twice. So big deep breath. Reach up and exhale over. And then come back. Come all the way forward. Shoulders back. Chest out. Go back over. This time really reach through this bottom hand. Reach up and reach over. Good. Inhale, reach up, come back to center, exhale, chest down. Whether your legs are down, give your legs a little hug or relax your head fully down. One more deep breath. Good. And then come back up. If your leg is in figure four, you're going to feel it right there, right? It's a good one. It's a really good one. But either way, you either feel it in your lower back when you go and give your legs a hug. Or you, and then the side bend gets your shoulder in the other spot. So good job. So one foot forward, soften the knee, flex the foot. Most important stretch of the day. So let's not take it for granted. Big deep breath, press the chest forward. And then release the hands and the head down. And roll your shoulders a little bit. Like when we do a volcano. And then take two more deep breaths with your head even more relaxed. Make sure the foot is still flexed. One more deep breath. Good. And then walk it up. Woo -hoo. Good job. Let's do the other side. Other side. And then flexed foot. Good, good. Shoulders back, chest out. Chest forward. And again, we want to release the arms, but kind of waterfall them down towards the earth. Relax the head down. And then take two more deep breaths here. Good job. Good job. And then come back up nice and tall when you're ready. Good. Very good. Now, if you want... You can do uh, warrior one for your front body, or you could do the ankle stretch. But the other option is to just bring your foot as far back as you can and press the hip forward, or grab your leg and press the hip forward. You choose, okay? This is also a really fantastic option. You can, I can feel it. And I can, I can grab my ankle, but I can still really feel it, especially if I press the, the heel back. One more deep breath. Or here. Good. And then switching sides. Looks, looks, looks really, really good. Looks really, really good. Again, you can be in what's called warrior one lunge position. Pressing the hip forward. Pressing the heel back and feeling it. Yeah. You should feel it like right here. Yeah, good. Or you can grab your ankle. But if that's not comfortable, this is just the other option for you. All right? That's it. Open the chest. Press the hip forward. So you want to feel it here. Good. And then release it. And then one more quick stretch. Although we did a lot of stretches throughout the workout, right? And over, shoulders back, chest out. Good job, everyone. Good job. Your moves were supremely nice to look at. Your upright rows are looking really good. Curls are nice and tight. Everything's looking really good. So on Wednesday, we'll be covering combination moves that we can do. So adding more than one move to the mix to get a workout um, for more than one muscle group at a time. Okay, so that should be fun. So keep in mind the top 10 exercises. And um, if you forget them, then just come back on Wednesday. All right? Have a great day. Good job. 
and i look forward to seeing you guys all on wednesday, okay? good job.